My personal view is that uh, what's most central to the sparking of uniquely human cognitive capacities mm -hmm. is our capacity for language. And that it's when children really get going on the task of learning language, uh, learning their first words at nine or ten months of age, putting words together uh, a few months later, that's when we start seeing these uniquely human capacities emerging. So Liz Spelke sees language as igniting the human spark. She's exploring that idea by studying how language allows children to interpret maps as representing the real world. So you take a two and a half year old child and show them a two dimensional drawing that simply has a simple geometric figure on it, say a triangle, and say to them, Nora, guess what? Kermit, he has a favorite bucket that he likes to sit in. There is one bucket that he likes the best. And today, we are going to put him in his favorite bucket, okay? Here's our picture of the room. There's one bucket, there's another bucket, and there's another bucket. Kermit, which one is your favorite bucket? My favorite is this one right here. Oh, Kermit says that this one is his favorite. Nora, can you put Kermit in his favorite bucket? Yay! That's a remarkable yeah. ability. But if you ask, what have you done with this child to engage this ability, to engage this symbolic function? You've talked to them. You've told them. There's one bucket, there's another bucket, and there's another bucket. And that raised the question, what if you didn't do that? What if you simply showed them the piece of paper and said, there's one, and there's another, and there's another. Now, Kermit, which is your favorite one? My favorite one is this one right here. Oh, Notice that unlike Nora, Xander isn't told oh, that the spot on the map Xander, represents a bucket. To you. Can you put him in his favorite bucket? Yay! Good job! You got him on the picture. We want to get Kermit in his favorite bucket in the room. Which is Kermit's favorite bucket? Without the cue of language, Xander wasn't able to relate the map to the real world. But when he's prompted... I'm going to give him to you. And they have this ability, you think, because they're already manipulating symbols in language. Exactly. Exactly. And as far as I can see, that ability develops spontaneously in us by virtue of being human. It doesn't develop at birth. We don't see it um, uh, until children are about nine or ten months of age. Uh, but as far as I can see, that's an innate uniquely human capacity that emerges in children toward the end of the first year.